Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hello and welcome back to another episode. This is part two in how to replace the inverter board on your Panasonic Toughbook CF30. Okay, now, so for this step, we've already removed the inverter board and now we just simply have to replace it back into the front cabinet. Okay, so there, uh, there's gonna be a need to replace some screws here. So, uh, you know, these screws here is screw one and screw two. Uh, first and foremost, have to be replaced. Most of the time, uh, I just want you to note that it's usually not the inverter board that goes bad, but it's the screen itself that goes bad. Uh, so, <clears throat> just for future reference, if you need to replace something, it most likely would be this. So, but for right now in this tutorial, we're replacing the inverter board, so we're going to go ahead on and do that. All right, so I'm going to zoom in so you can get a better look at these screw holes and see exactly which screws need to be replaced. Okay, I've marked them with red circles. We're going to replace the screws now. First screw we're going to replace, which goes here using a small Phillips head screwdriver for this. I believe this is a Craftsman. And there we go. Our two screws have been replaced. <clears throat> okay, so now that I've zoomed in, I'm gonna replace the wires for the inverter. First, I'm gonna put back this wire here, which leads to the board. And then also, just make sure that wire is secure. And then also, we're going to replace this wire here, as well as the red wire, which goes in the board here. There you go. Now that we replace all the wires, we have to reconnect the touch screen. This wire here for the touch, like so. And then we're going to replace this ribbon cable here as well. And once you've replaced all the wires and they're firmly secure into the connectors, I believe there's also a piece of tape that goes over this ribbon cable here. So we'll just replace that like so. And once that's all been replaced, next step is reinserting this back into the cabinet. Okay, so first step, I would place my inverter board in front of me and I would pull back this heating sheet here and I would just slide the touchscreen back into the front cabinet. Another thing to do would be to lift up this tape here and then replace that electrical tape over the heating board. So that way it's a bit easier to maneuver. You can do for that piece of tape too as well. You see what I'm talking about. There you go. Now I'm going to re uh, reconnect the front cabinet to the rear cabinet just all a part of reassembling the CF-30. All in a day's work. Now, open this back up. Uh, it's just a matter of overlaying the, uh, the front cabinet over the rear cabinet. You wanna make sure that uh, the wires are fairly free. So, just gonna overlay it like so. And that's pretty much it. Once it's laying in the right spot, it kind of all just falls into place. Now we're just gonna replace the screws on the rear cabinet. I'd say just to be on the safe side, you might wanna run the, the, uh, the wire across like so. 
um, just make sure it's in front of the hinges so that way uh, when you replace the hinge covers it's going to just save you a bunch of confusion so just you know make sure that the, the wires are just ran in front of the hinge covers uh, they're for the antenna the Wi-Fi antenna just kind of saves you some trouble in the end like so all right now at this point it's okay to replace the screws I'm gonna mark them with red circles There we go. Now the two larger screws in the corner can be replaced as well. I recommend using a larger screwdriver for this. Like so. Tighten the larger screw in the corner here. I'm gonna put this down. Make sure that one's nice. I'm gonna replace this, these screws too as well. All the long edges. not in real time I always recommend keeping track of these screws throughout the process. Just saves a headache in the end. Okay, now we're gonna just replace uh, the screws for the hinges. Now we're just replacing the screws for the hinges. Now I might note it's not absolutely necessary to remove the hinges but it does make it easier to completely take off the front cabinet and rear cabinet hinges I just flip my tuck book up like this and I'll note where they are here and here these two have to be replaced Phillips head screwdriver for these two screws here okay and there you go now we're gonna replace these two LCD cables with the cables running all the way up to the LCD And then once both of those wire cables have been reconnected to the LCD connectors, then we can re start replacing these uh, cable covers. Cover back where it needs to be. just like this and I can even press down that tape <clears throat> so. just overlay the hinge cover now I'm going to replace the screws like so and there's one Actually, gonna you know reset your keyboard. 
Make sure the ribbon cables are pushed down. Place your keyboard bezel. You can even replace your keyboard bezel. And just okay, so I'm gonna lift this back up. Gonna most likely require a little bit of force, a little bit of pressure, just to get them in the right spot. So it's a screw over here. There you go. Thanks for watching today. For more repair videos, click the link below. And remember, if you have a screwdriver, you can fix a computer.